Welcome all to another episode of the RGN C64 Roundup, your concise guide to the latest news and releases for your Commodore 64. There have been so many games released since the last episode, and I've picked out 10 of my favourites to showcase in the first Roundup for 2023. So let's get started. The first major hit title for 2023 is Lester by Knife Grinder. A space station factory containing radioactive material has been commandeered by its main computer system, taking control of the Guardian droids on board. The space station is set to be sent down towards Earth, and the only hope to avoid this catastrophe is to send in Lester, a new powerful android to clean up the mess and take back control of the craft. Lester is an arcade adventure game where you take control of the android across 60 screens, navigating across many hazards, eliminating enemy droids and locating hidden items that will gradually unlock restricted areas within the game until you finally make your way to do battle against the main computer system. Eliminating enemies and blasting barrels will result in coins being left behind for you to pick up. Scattered across the space station are computer terminals that not only provide you with a map layout, but also allow you to upgrade your weapons and health points with the coins you've collected. The production values on this are very good. The graphical style adopted instantly draws you into the game, with its somewhat unique look for the C64, and the various areas within the game each have their own said soundtrack. The gameplay itself is relatively simple, but well executed with highly responsive controls. As is the standard for arcade adventure games, you'll be revisiting various parts of the game as you constantly go from one end of the space station to another, trying to uncover special powers, ability upgrades and access passes. One of the things that I really appreciate is that the enemy respawning mechanic is not instant when you return to the screen. It looks like enemies only respawn if you re-enter a zone of screens, and I found this to work very well. Perhaps there is a degree of repetition, as the nature of gameplay does not really differ too much the deeper you get into the game. Regardless, this should not take away from the fact that Lester is a thoroughly enjoyable experience within its own confines and its sets. Lester is available as a free download. Pick and Mix is a fun single screen arcade platform game with a couple of unique game mechanics. The aim of the game is to stun enemies with paintballs and then swallow them up. Each time you eat an enemy, your player gains a bit of weight. When you've gained enough weight, you need to step on the floor switch to open up the door to the next level. Your player can pick up a crown which makes him immune to hits on the head, and you can try and paint as much of the platforms as possible for extra points. There is a two-player mode in which each player is trying to compete against each other, with an interesting twist in which both players must be on the floor switch at the same time to activate the exit, and then it's a race to the door for bonus points. But for most of us, Pick and Mix will be a single-player experience, and the game does a good job at sustaining our interest across its 33 levels. Pick and Mix is available as a free digital download. It's time for another Pac-Man variant, and this time it comes in the vein of Scout the Stray. You play Scout, a stray dog, who has to go through different mazes munching on bones while avoiding capture by the dog catchers chasing him. Your objective is simple, collect all the bones to complete a level. Scout is able to evade capture by barking at the catchers, which causes them to momentarily run away. But note that Scout's spark needs to recharge before it can be used again. From time to time, Scout can collect magic balls that will result in various rewards such as extra points. Scout the Stray contains 32 procedurally generated levels and as you advance through the levels, the speed and the number of catches will increase as you progress through the game. Scout the Stray is a free digital download. Cruiser X-79 is a vertically scrolling shoot 'em up where your mission is to guide your Cruiser X-79 spacecraft to safety while trying to escape capture and destruction by an alien race. The game doesn't offer anything special from a gameplay perspective. There are 16 levels on offer and power-ups to collect, but a lot of the enemy waves are repeated quite often and the levels themselves feel unnecessarily long. Graphically, the game does look nice with its metallic styling and you can never say no to a Richard Bayless Sid music track. If you steady your expectation, then you might enjoy playing a round or two of Cruiser X79. The game is available as a free digital download.
Protovision has released Cholgi, a four-player tank battle that is sure to be a lot of fun at game parties. Shooting is only possible when a tank is standing still, and battles can take place across multiple rounds and different layouts. As I'm short on friends, the footage you see here is me trying to simultaneously control two tanks at once, so you can expect the actual gameplay to be more fluid than what is shown here. Cholgi is a free digital download. Time to see what's been making the news. Tell your better half that you won't be available for any romance this Valentine's Day, as you'll be busy playing a pig quest on that evening. Protovision and the PD18 team have confirmed that a pig quest will be digitally released on February 14, with pre-orders for the physical cartridge opening up at the same time. A pig quest will be featured in the February 2023 edition of the C64 Roundup. AGPX and Phobos are working on an interesting multi-screen platform game called Newsstand. The guys released this video trailer of the game late last year, and we can see that it features some nice mix of old and new graphical style. We understand that the game is set to contain five levels and looks to involve the main protagonist collecting money to go and buy game tapes from the local newsstands. I'm looking forward to finding out more about Newsstand as it gets closer to release. What's the best C64 theme magazine going around today? Well, it's Reset 64, of course. Reset 64 magazine invites you to equip your weapons and pack a lunch, so you're ready to embark on a quest to read their RPG theme 15th issue. This issue is packed with the latest news, new game reviews, interviews, columns, and feature articles, brimming with love for our favorite 80s microcomputer, the Commodore 64. Reset 64 is an A4 size publication that is purely produced as a passion hobby by the like-minded C64 enthusiasts. A digital PDF copy of the magazine is now available for free for you to download from itch.io and it comes with a great digital cover disc as well. If you love watching the C64 Roundup, and let's face it, who doesn't, then you're going to absolutely love Reset 64 magazine.
I hope you're not sick of checking out some new game releases, as I have another batch for you to look at now. The sequel to Cynthia and the Cybercrypt, Cynthia 2, is an arcade adventure game created using the shoot 'em up construction kit and a little bit of additional code. You take control of Cynthia, a robotic cyborg human who is on a mission to infiltrate an operational defence complex that's been overtaken by another supercomputer that is intent on destroying your new homeworld. As you explore the game world, you'll come across flashing objects that can be picked up. While locations with flashing question marks denote where objects can be used, you need to match up the right object with the right location. As you succeed in these actions, the game world opens up, and to succeed in the game, you will need to locate three key chips that are needed to enter the defence complex. No doubt it is extraordinary what Eleanor Burns has been able to produce with the Seok engine, and all credit needs to be given to push the platform beyond its intended limits. I quite like the monochrome style graphics, and Richard Bayless once again excels with his soundtrack. Cynthia 2 plays pretty much the same as the original game. The game itself is not overly large, and once you understand the combined object mechanic, the puzzles themselves are straightforward, making it a good game to play and complete within a couple of sittings. Cynthia 2 is a free digital download. Inbred is a very nice looking game that sees you working in a restaurant kitchen filling in sandwich orders for hungry customers. Order tickets appear at the top of the screen and your job is to click on the ingredients as they scroll by to drop them onto the conveyor belts and then onto the plates at the bottom of the screen. There is a bit of flexibility when it comes to constructing sandwiches. You can build the sandwiches on the conveyor belts or on the plates. The ingredients don't have to be in the same order as the pictures, but each sandwich must contain the correct ingredients. The more ingredients you get in the right order, the more you will score. In between each level, your boss will give you some specific instructions that can result in bonus points. Inbred is a simple fun game that is well constructed and are good for a couple of players here and there. The game is available for free as a digital download. Snake vs Bomb is a high score attack challenge game where you control a snake travelling through a long tunnel eating up fruit as they come along. Your snake must avoid coming in contact with bombs, which are cleverly designed to look closely like red apples. If you hit a bomb, then it's game over. There are 8 levels on offer with the pace starting off quite slow and increasing with every level you reach. As you reach the later levels, the game certainly goes by at quite a fast pace. This is a good one to play with your kids, and it's a free digital download. Hey, it's only about 11 months to Christmas, so let's get into the spirit by playing a couple of Christmas games. Mike Quarter, Present Sorter, is a Christmas themed tapper style game where you need to collect oncoming presents on conveyor belts and sort them into the correct sleigh. As things start to get hectic, you can temporarily stop the conveyor belt to help you manage the task in front of you. Mike Quarter is a quite an addictive little game with very responsive controls. I had a lot of fun with this one. The game is available as a free digital download. Quasimodo Christmas Caper sees you guide our hunchback friend through 12 Christmas themed levels, clearing all the snowballs while avoiding elves and other sharp objects. As a secondary object, you can also collect gold stars. If you click 99 gold stars, then you unlock a bonus stage. Extra lives, power-ups and bonus points are awarded when you click the larger stars. If you take too long to clear a level, the elves turn nasty and start to shoot snowballs at you. Take even longer and you then have to deal with Boris, the evil snowman. Graphically, the game stands out well, not only due to its vibrant detailed graphics, but you can't help be impressed by the snowfall effect. Gameplay wise, things start off somewhat standard, but the introduction of things like ice balls that freeze you and make you immune to elves temporarily is a nice little strategic add-on. The collection detection mechanic within the game could do with a little bit of further tightening, but it's hard to deny that Quasimodo's Christmas Caper is a charming little single screen platformer that provides some light style old school arcade entertainment. The game is available as a digital download purchase at a small cost. And that is a wrap on another edition of the C64 Roundup. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you're interested in following all of the latest C64 news and events in real time, then don't forget to check out the IGN website. Until next time, bye for now.